Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306, and I know I just made a video on upgrading this uh, guy to a 60GB hard drive, and I will be uh, keeping this in here, but I also found a really good deal on um, these MSATA, this is a 32GB, um, I had talked the seller down to $10 for this guy, and this adapter I think was like 2 or $3, something like that, so I almost couldn't say no. I'm probably not going to use this um, for the iPad. I'll probably keep the 60 gigabyte drive, but I want to see if at least this works. And then um, I have other devices that use you know, zip connectors, so I can actually use this for something else. But I just want to see if it works for now. So let's see if we can replace this um, and see how it goes. But yeah, 32 gigabyte uh, MSATA cards are apparently really cheap now. Um, even 128 gig ones are around $30 used. Um, so that's not bad at all. Um, definitely useful to have kind of one kicking around. So you can see it only lines up in one direction here. Uh, oddly enough, it, the labels face down, but whatever. So should just kind of click in there and kind of levers down. So that's what this, the two screws are for. Let's just do these up. The only issue I could see, it's obviously much smaller than the original hard drive, so it'd be possible to actually stick a larger battery in here now. Um, but the only possible issue is thickness. Uh, but I guess we'll see in a second how it fares. So we can get the old drive, which is a 60 gig one, out of there. And let's see, uh, maybe I should have put this in before putting the memory card in. Okay, no worries. So, fits in. And... Not really crazy about this uh, zip locking connector on this guy uh, maybe it's because I'm kinda of doing it at a weird angle but yeah it's a little bit uh, suspicious anyway um, so what I'm gonna wanna do though is uh, probably cut out a piece of paper or something like that and put it in between because the last thing I want is that shorting This is no art project. It's just a quick and dirty, get it to work. And maybe another piece. Just sort of, you know, just was looking online for uh, SSDs and this sort of popped up and I thought, oh, why not? So let's get this battery back in. Actually noticeably easier without the, uh, the big old honking hard drive in there. There we go. Before I button it up, let's see if it actually turns on. Oh, that's a good sign. <laughs> Definitely a good sign. So let's see if uh, it restores in iTunes now. This may actually be my quickest video yet. I literally just got this in the mail. There we go. Yeah, there's a small, uh, yeah, I'm going to open this guy up, actually. Uh, there's a small pressure point I can see already on the screen from something pressing, and I really do not like that. So I'm just going to pry her open again.
Okay. So it's connected. Let's see if we can restore it the same exact way we did before. I uh, iTunes detected iPods in recovery mode. That's great. <laughs> this is going to work, that means. Uh, so let's just put it through the uh, recovery. Yeah, I had to uh, shift the the card itself slightly aside, askew, uh, to give it a little bit more room so it actually uh, closed fully. Uh, what was happening was uh, the actual connector, um, uh, the what would you call it? The actual connector for the MCATA card itself is a little bit thick. And so it was just putting enough pressure on the LC that I could see it uh, kind of a darker color on the screen itself, which is not a good thing that you want to do. Um, this feels really light without the hard drive, actually. <laughs> I mean, pretty much most of the weight of the iPod is the hard drive itself. So now that this has a tiny little SSD, uh, hopefully that works here so iTunes definitely just said something about uh, reformatting the iPod and okay apparently I have to format the disk so FAT32 it is yes I'm sure I can see the little disk icon going there. So hopefully this pops up. It's showing up as a 29.8 gigabyte drive, which is about what I expected. Okay, formatted. And it shows up in my computer now. So let me try ejecting it. It's going to pop up with the error again, put it back in, it went didn't, so hopefully it pops up again, yep, detected in recovery mode, ah, it did show up, so let's restore this guy, restore, it's restoring right now, this is pretty quick. So let's see, I want to see if I can get it to the main menu. And I'll probably put a few songs on it and just see how long the battery lasts compared to the hard drive. I think the battery's going in this guy. Um, iPod's been restored. Rebooting. Awesome, this is working perfectly. Now I'm kind of wondering if I spent a little more and got the 128 gigabyte drive um, for like 30 bucks, so three times the cost of this drive. Yeah, that would have been pretty awesome, but eh, 32 gigs is, is fine enough. But anyway, I'm probably going to just shove in the uh, 60 gig drive back in because having that capacity is pretty awesome. But yeah, I'll at least test the battery life on this, and I uh, will let you guys know uh, roughly after some testing if it's been improved or not. I would expect it to be improved because flash memory is, well, draws less current. So yeah, she's booting up now. There we go. Let's eject her. Ejected. Yeah, my battery's almost dead. <laughs> anyway, settings, about. There we go, 29.7 gigabytes. And all flash. Wow. I would have loved to be able to do this years ago, um, but unfortunately, memory prices were pretty pretty expensive for quite a while. Only recently, flash memory has actually shot down, like, ridiculously so. But yeah, there she is, and all buttoned up now. And so I will load some music on, do some testing, and then, um, yeah, I'll uh, put the other hard drive back in after I'm done. But I'll let you guys know how this fares, at least in the meanwhile. But it feels really light. It feels like there's nothing in it at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Anyway, so yeah, that was just a little quick video that I wanted to make uh, for you guys. Uh, for something I got for, you know, a lot cheaper than I thought it would have been. So, you know, one of those things I, I couldn't say no. I couldn't say no. Anyway, um, 
So yeah, if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll have links for all this stuff down below if you guys are interested in uh, in the ten dollar, well, ten ish dollar uh, memory card if they're still available. That is, you only had a few left, I believe. Um, and I'll have links for the adapter if you want to try this yourself. So anyway, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later.